Sarah Internet, I've got a bit of a problem. My ironing board is too small. I mean, it's a standard size ironing board, but as any quilter can tell you, you can never have enough space when it comes to ironing. I also don't have enough storage space in my sewing room. And did I mention that my sewing room is tiny? It also does double duty as my office. So I have a dream. I want a custom built ironing board that's big enough that I can iron big blocks, even whole quilt tops without having to move it every five seconds. Something that was just big enough to fit my biggest wall pressing mat would be nice. So I told my nephew about the stream because he's got some carpentry skills and I sketched out what I thought would work and he immediately told me it wouldn't and that it would fall apart in five minutes <laughs> and he sketched out something that would work and after a bit of back and forth we came up with a plan so all we need to do now is go to a building supplies shop and get some bits and pieces to make my ultimate ironing board I'm looking forward to this starting with a couple of small kitsek shelf units. I think even my limited carpentry skills are going to be up to putting those together. is make an ironing board cover. This is an old sarong I bought probably 30 years ago. I think it will make a perfect cover. I'm going to add some batting and quilt it just with a big loose fern pattern, roughly following the ferns that are printed on the fabric. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'll add a really wide binding that I can thread some elastic through so it will hold it taut over the board. And here's my new ironing board. I'm really pleased with it. It has a nice big ironing surface. I can roll it out the way if I need to get it the filing cabinet or the design wall. And it has the bonus of tons of storage space. So I've got space down here for my old cutting mat and those big awkwardly shaped rulers that don't fit anywhere else. I've got these spaces at the end for things like interfacing and freezer paper that come on rolls. And on the sides I've got these shelves with boxes that I can put all sorts of random things into. And we left the middle open so I can roll a chair under it if I want to be sitting down when I've got lots of blocks to iron. I reckon it's the ultimate ironing board. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time. Ka kite anō, internet. <laughs>